I don't know about you, but when I see something like this and I hold it in my hand, I just really like it because you could just 3D design something for it and stick it somewhere, which is really cool. And the battery is upgradable, nothing proprietary here. Hey what is up guys and welcome back. So today's gonna be a pretty interesting video. We're gonna take these apart and see if there's any possible mods for future videos. So I did receive these two from Banggood. We have the Eoshin VR005 which is a huge downgrade from basically almost any of their goggles which I'm not very happy about but it can be used for other things as well. The price isn't that steep so it's really nice in a perspective that you can give it to your son or something. It's actually what I did. I handed it over to my son. He dropped the living shit out of it and it's still working so that's really nice. However, the lens is not really great. So Iyushin, if you're watching this, the lens is, is very blurry for me, which is really strange. I've never had that issue before. So I don't know maybe if my lens is put backwards or something, but keep that in mind. I don't know how well uh, you're gonna see it. But for me, this one was somewhat blurry. And it's not because of the screen resolution, it is because of the lens. This one here is also around the same price. It's URUAV, it's a lot bigger as you can tell. And I actually prefer this one over this one. Now in terms of comfort, I would give it to the URUAV, even though both of them are not comfortable to put on the face, but the URUAV gets it because your nose and everything just fits inside of it and it's okay. So, I mean, you're only paying 30 bucks and this is a really great deal for 30 bucks here. So, and again, I would definitely just go for the URUAV here. There's a couple reasons why I would do that. One thing is it has an AV input because this means we can do a fat shark mod on this if you guys are interested. Now let's take them apart and see the insides. Let's start with the URUAV here because this is the one that I really like. And again, these will be linked down below. Go ahead and check the links to support the channel. All right, so to take this apart, you have four screws here. One, two, three, and four. One's under the sticker, so keep that in mind. And the next step is to take it apart. However, the, the foam here is gonna hold it in together very well. So one way you can do is remove the whole uh, foam cover, which I never usually do. What I do instead is I just cut it in half right here, and it just makes it a little bit easier. And um, it's I think it's a better solution, in my opinion, but you know this comes back to you and how you wanna execute this. All right, so once it's taken apart, now we have to remove this plastic cover here. Don't start pulling out the screen because there is a flexible P or a flex PCB that's holding the screen or a ribbon to the hardware down here. Now you can already see that the battery is really tiny and that will need an upgrade because that's not gonna last long. But it's really nice that it has a USB input for charging so you can power it off a power bank. So that's a, so that's a really nice addition that you're gonna be able to charge uh, from USB if the battery dies. And I do highly recommend this little uh, screwdriver, which I've had, I think, for almost a year now. And I've only actually charged it twice, which is really crazy. This was the second charge ever. All right, so we want to go ahead and move this out. We still have a couple more screws. We have one here, we have one here, and we have one here. So when removing the PCB, just give it a little gentle push here. It'll come out. Reason why it feels like it's stuck is because of the AV right here is going through that hole and as well as the USB connection right there or the micro USB connection. All right, so now we have the board here. Let's unplug the power. So it takes one S and let's take a look at it. Let's see how everything it is in here. And we have a screen and we have the main board. I'm just gonna flip these over. And there is something pretty interesting, I guess. I don't know if they're selling it or marketing it as a diversity because obviously it's not, see? So we just have one receiver and the way that this is actually connected is pretty strange. I mean, I don't see a real problem with actually just popping this whole thing off and just creating a diversity mod for this. That's one thing we can do. This thing should be absolutely simple to add DVR to. For example, we can use one of those uh, uh, run cam DVRs, which are really cheap and really good and they don't add latency. And um, they have an indicator button on them, so they're really cool. And they're really small, they're 20 by 20s. I'll have some link down below, I need to go look for them. I have a couple of those that came with a couple cameras. So you can add one of those in here and then just have DVR, a nice DVR too. And um, it should be a pretty simple process. Now we just have to figure out a couple things. We have to figure out if this has five volts or just 3.3 volts. If it has just 3.3 volts, we need a little uh, IC or a little booster circuit that'll increase that 3.3 volts to a five volt and then we can power up the DVR. Um, and that's that's about it. And finding a placement for it, maybe 3D designing something really tiny that goes on top of the goggle here. But overall, it's not a diversity. And this is, this is everything here. That's pretty crazy. It's super tiny here. I'm really curious to see now the VR005. 
All right guys, so the VR006 is kind of the same concept. Four screws on the bottom, one covered with the, uh, the sticker here. And then once you remove that, you get full access to this guy. Now, I don't know about you, but when I see something like this and I hold it in my hand, I just really like it. Because you could just 3D design something for it and stick it somewhere, which is really cool. And the battery is upgradable, nothing proprietary here which is also a really nice addition. However, something I did notice is the same battery is exactly the same size as the bigger one that we just saw. So what you can do on both of them is you could kind of stack two in parallel, not in series, in parallel. So if you get two of these, put them together, and then you set up your wires correctly, then you'll have, if this is really 1,100, then you'll have 2,000. So that'll give you more power or more, more use time. Now, as you can immediately see, that it's not diversity, so it's just a single receiver with two antennas. But they are using an RX5808, and that's at least they're saying that they're using here, and it does look somewhat like it. Now, there is also something really interesting here. This one is totally moddable. Not only that, there is possibly a hack on both of these to get them to run AV inputs. And what do I mean by that? Well, this chip here I've seen quite often and I never really found it a nice data sheet because I always wanted to take advantage of this chip because it's basically a microcontroller unit and LCD driver at the same time. And I think this is the flash memory. So the, the firmware is here. And there's a German guy that I've been reading on that he's pulled the firmware and even created an emulator for it. And we can do some cool things with this. Now, how cool? I don't know to what extent just yet, but it, there, there is a lot of possibilities to do some crazy stuff. So both of these are totally moddable. We can we can add DVR to both of them. I can either do them in one video or separate videos. Let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section. And if you have other ideas, let me know as well. We can take a look at those. So this is a really nice screen. Like, like I can think of so many things I can use. I mean, look at this. It's a really small package here. This is everything. That's just, it's crazy. It is crazy. I just, ah, I'm in love. I really am in love. I don't care about the goggle. This, this right here is just awesome. I really want to know how this thing works because I want to actually make my own uh, variation of this. But yeah, you can get away with creating some really, $30 for the, oh, everything here. That's just insane. And same thing goes for this one. So yeah, these are, they have a lot of potential. And uh, I think we might take advantage of that because I, I actually do like these. Uh, just the circuits, I like the, the, these here. So I think we can expect some modding videos, maybe a couple nice ones, I, other than just DVR. I'll probably think of a couple other things that we can do, like add it to your QX7 or add it to your Horus or add it to your x Lite. I can think of a couple things that we can do with these, which I'm very excited about. Um, I, I don't know, I just really love the hardware. Um, it's not the best hardware in the world, but just, you know, this is, this is a complete, like a screen, a charging circuit, a, a just everything. It's just insane. You, you can do so much with this. It has so much potential that it's not even funny. Okay, the, the quality isn't the greatest, but you can always even change out the LCDs here. If I take this LCD and I stick it here, it should work. There's no checks, no encryptions, um, which allows you to do quite a lot more. Maybe this is the voltage regulator and that's the memory, or it could be the other way around. So if yeah, if I fucked up, don't 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 go crazy here. I'm not really looking at the names, but yeah, these are really nice uh, for modding and projects. However, the bigger goggle is nice to use. It's okay to use. I mean, thirty bucks. It's it's a really great deal in my opinion. However, both of them are not diversity, and um, they have a lot of potential, a lot of potential. And I am actually really excited to think of a couple things to do and hear what you guys have in mind to do with these. And well, let's leave it at that for now. I'm gonna go find the DVRs and I'll come back in in two days or a day and we'll do the uh, mod. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.